When looking at the differences of the authorized version, King James Bible, and the new versions, the differences are primarily between the vast majority of manuscripts versus the vast minority and two codexes, Sinaiticus and Vaticanus. As scribes, <coughs> I mean scholars, refer to it as the oldest and best. In this post, we will be criticizing one of the central pillars of the critical text, Vaticanus, aka Codex B. Despite allegedly being from the 4th century, the earliest catalogue of the Codex was 1475 in the Vatican. Constantine van Tischendorf was permitted to see Vaticanus in brief, but only for a limited time. After this visit to the Vatican, Tischendorf discovered Sinaiticus and presented it to Tsar Alexander II in 1859, and published it in 1862. He was then mysteriously permitted by the Vatican to publish Vaticanus in 1867. Tischendorf believed that Vaticanus and Sinaiticus were of the work of Eusebius, pupil of Origen, for Constantine's 50 ecumenical Bibles. The Old Testament is recorded to have been a complete copy of the Septuagint. Greek rendition formed in Alexandria by non-Levitical Jews. This codex consists of a three-columned format, and most accredited origin is from Alexandria. Alexandria is noted for its omissions, which the manuscript demonstrates, and corruptions of the scripture due to philosophers, pagans, and especially Gnostics. Vaticanus also contains apocryphal books such as Wisdom of Solomon, Judith, and Tobit. The manuscript also excludes Revelation. This Alexandrian text type codex was used, along with Sinaiticus, in Westcott and Hort's The New Testament in the Original Greek in 1881 and is foundational to the new Bible versions. It is commonly referred to as the oldest and best manuscripts, along with Sinaiticus, as justification for textual exclusions. Erasmus was provided Vaticanus in his rendition of the Textus Receptus, but found it too erratic and inconsistent with the majority text. New versions make plenty of omissions and say that the oldest and best manuscripts do not include these verses. In the example of Mark 16 and its last 12 verses, discussing the resurrection of Christ, Vaticanus omits it, but 4th to 5th century manuscripts as codexes W, A, C, D all do. Take this excerpt from Irenaeus's Against Heresies as proof that Mark's last verses are indeed scripture. Against Heresies, Book 3, Chapter 10, Verse 5. Also, towards the conclusion of his gospel, Mark says, So then, after the Lord had spoken to them, he was received up into heaven and sits on the right hand of God, confirming what had been spoken by the prophet. The Lord said to my Lord, Sit on my right hand, until I make your foes your footstool. Hopefully this provides a little more insight to why the new versions are not as reliable as the modern day Sadducees and Pharisees want you to believe. Oops, I said the quiet part out loud. It is important to remember that there are plenty of ancient manuscripts among the 99% of the 6,000 that support the King James Bible and the included texts that it has, along with the consistent sound doctrine that it provides. 2 Corinthians 2 verse 17 For we are not as many which corrupt the word of God, 
but as of sincerity, but as of God, in the sight of God speak we in Christ.